your number one source for local news. News Channel 3. Good Friday afternoon, everybody, from the home office of the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Looking into the weekend, things are looking pretty good. If you are traveling, stick around because we've got some information for you. And if you're sticking around for the possibility of some football for tonight, we've got the Friday night prep forecasts. going to be a dry evening for the most part. We do have a few sprinkles possible. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little while. Otherwise, things are pretty quiet across much of the area. If you are traveling to Florida or the East Coast, or the Bahamas into the next couple of days. This is what you're going to have to watch out for. Matthew is now a Category 3 or a major hurricane. Winds of over 110 to 115 miles per hour. That makes it a Category 3 or major hurricane on the Sapphire-Simpson scale, which means this thing could be a major league killer if there's a lot of people in its path, and it looks like it just might be. Currently well on down to the south of Cuba and into parts of the southern Caribbean, but here's the problem. As we get into the next couple of days, Matthew is going to be making its way up. It's going to be making a sharp right hand and turn heading north into the next few days, going across eastern Cuba, Guantanamo Bay, back into the area close to around the Bahamas. And a couple of these computer models as you watch them go on through, put them a little bit closer to Florida than what we've seen over the area in the last couple of days. So something to think about there. If you are going to be traveling to the East Coast or Florida, please keep an eye on this storm and keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for updates as this forecast will change. Okay, main focus for tonight, prep football looking good. Clouds will be around the area. There will be some sprinkle chances around parts of northwestern Tennessee, the Missouri Boot Hill, and back into and around portions of northeastern Arkansas may be making its way as far south as I-40 and if we do get anything they're going to be very brief very minor shower possibilities out there and that is going to be about it the rest of the day into this evening should be just partly to mostly cloudy skies, fairly overcast at times, and looking at a lot less cloud cover as we go into later on tonight and overnight into the rest of the evening. But for tonight, winds will be out of the north-northwest at about 5 to 10 miles an hour, so a jacket as the temperatures cool off. Pre-game football activities, temperatures will be in the lower to mid-70s. Halftime numbers in the upper 60s across much of the area. Probably a little warmer for the metro, and then by the time the games start to close out later on this evening, temperatures will be back into the mid-60s. So if you have any plans for traveling to the football games and afterwards, as things start to wrap up, a little bit on the cooler side. So again, that letter jacket may not be such a bad idea or at least a windbreaker out there to kind of ward off the chill, especially if the games go long into later on tonight, or maybe there's a gr good concession stand nearby selling a little bit of hot chocolate. So again, for tonight, no umbrella necessary. Looking good for football in the Mid-South tonight. So go out, be safe, have fun and support your local teams and enjoy yourself with the weather. No problems at all seen in the Mid-South area. Tomorrow morning, if you are traveling, please be careful. Current forecasts are showing the possibility of some fog and maybe some fairly dense fog out across the area. Did not have a dense fog advisory this morning. May have one tomorrow morning for Saturday morning. This is something we're going to watch with a lot of interest. We'll have updates starting early tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 right before daybreak online on Facebook and Twitter and other places as well, so stay tuned for more on that. And don't forget about News Channel 3 promoting this. This is an opportunity for you to help in the Mid-South. There will be opportunities throughout the Mid-South area to sign up for Skywarn. If you'd like to know more about this and how you can take a look at where the latest meetings are, we'll have more information on this throughout the weekend. I'll be on News Channel 3 throughout the weekend except for Sunday evening. Then Tim Simpson will be on as I'll be working for News Channel 3's Todd Demers next week as he goes for vacation. Questions, concerns, ideas, and Friday Night Football picks. Let's see how the weather is doing out there. Tweet them to me at aonic underscore wreg3, Instagram as well, and also on Facebook at facebook.com slash austinonic wreg, one word there. So at least you're not going to need the umbrella. Definitely good news on that. Maybe some more showers into the extended forecast. We'll take a better look at that coming up on News Channel 3 Daybreak. Once again, if you got pictures tonight of Friday Night Football. Let's see them. Let's see what the weather's out like out across the Mid-South area, and I'll forward them along on News Channel 3 as we get into the weekend as well. And into next week, got pictures. Let's see them. I'd be glad to show them to everybody on News Channel 3 when I'm on the air. That's a look at our current forecast. Tim and Jim have updates on first at 4 all the way through News Channel 3 at 10 tonight, and then catch my forecast bright and early tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak on Saturday starting at 6 a.m. From the home office of the News Channel 3 Weather Center, 
Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig. This has been your latest edition of Friday Night Football Update. Stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 on air and online.